Welcome back, everyone. It's time to lace up and dive into a journey that's as magical as it is challenging. I'm Kristen, and I'm gearing up to Dare to Dopey once again. That's right, four days, four races, totaling 48.6 miles and countless memories at the most magical place on earth. I'm not just reliving memories, I'm chasing new ones. This isn't my first rodeo with the Dopey Challenge, but this time it's about setting the bar higher, pushing myself further, and achieving personal bests. Together, let's make every mile count leading up to January. Are you ready to run the Dopey Challenge with me? Let's lace up, train hard, and make memories that will last a lifetime. I'll see you on the course. Hey y'all, welcome to week three of Dare to Dopey training. Today is Wednesday, and I have set myself up in a predicament. Yes, we'll talk about it in just a moment. The predicament I have myself in is we got back from Florida yesterday around four. Well, we landed before that, but didn't really get home and settled until around four. And then I took a two hour nap, was up for an hour, and then went to bed for good around eight, and then slept for like 12 hours. So because of that, I did not get a run in yesterday, which means it's today, Wednesday, tomorrow, and Saturday. Not supposed to be doing backs to back, back to backs this early, but here we are. And I'm sure you saw on my last video that vacation was so, so good. And getting to run in such a beautiful place, like, you can't, you can't beat that, except for at Disney World. So, just kind of feeling like I've been hit by a bus after a week at the beach and walking through all that sand, which is a workout in and of itself. I'm sure you know that. And my legs feel like lead pillars and I've eaten seven bugs. And we're only 23 minutes, 23 minutes into this run. But it's good. It's good to be back home, back in the swing of things. And yeah, it's just good to be back. And I will gather more thoughts, but right now I'm looking up ahead at this giant hill and I'm reminded of what Hannah Montana said. Doesn't matter how fast I get there. In some other words, it's the climb. I'll see you at the top. It's a climb. Finished it. 3.29, 3.28. 45 minutes not bad I'll take it I will take it so this week is gonna look a little bit different because of the fact that I'm doing a back-to-back -back. Um, I will I don't know what I'm gonna do because it's back-to-back -back for tomorrow I may end up just doing a 45 minute walk I need to see how I feel after this one. Um, this is where that whole like listening to your body thing comes into play because you, you have to. You have to see how your legs feel. I know right now my quads and my hamstrings are really tight. So I'm gonna focus on stretching and rolling and 
Thera gunning the mess out of those and see if that makes a difference. So anyway, workout one for the week is complete. Week three is three workouts, 45 minutes, 45 minutes, and then three miles for the long run. Um, next week, week four, is where we start getting into like more miles than you can count on one hand. And that's exciting. All right, I will see y'all tomorrow. Hey y'all, it's Thursday and I'm out for a 45 minute walk. My um, plan is just to be out for 45 minutes. So that's what I'm going to do. It has been a rather productive day. I will give it that. Um, do y'all ever get in one of those like massive like purging modes? Like I'm gonna go into my closet and throw away everything. Cause that's what I've been doing all day. So I've gotten rid of stuff that I even forgot that I had. So that's what I've been doing. And now we're gonna be out for this 45 minutes and I think I'm about to have to sit up on this curb up here and get this rock out of my shoe it's gonna be great all right we are 18 almost 19 minutes into this walk I'm trying real hard to keep it balloon lady paced um, failing miserably <laughs> that's okay but in honor of the announcement last week the announcement being the princess themes I decided to wear my princess tank top and y'all I I love them I love them it's very reminiscent of my very first princess which was 2019 and in that one we had Mulan as the 10k we had uh, Aurora Sleeping Beauty as the half and then Jasmine was the challenge and that was my first ever challenge too so I feel like I'm getting I don't know a repeat if you will of my first ever princess 2019 5k was Elena of Avalor from Disney Junior uh, this time they've added in who did they add in snow uh, not for the 5k though she is the challenge so anyway I love them I really do I think those of us doing dopey if you're doing dopey and are even remotely interested in princess might be a good idea to plan on that because you get essentially a back-to-back -back Snow White weekend with Dopey and then Snow for Princess and that's cool so I'm planning on signing up for Princess pretty sure I'll do all three um, won't do yoga because I just if it's on that Monday which it is no no make it Thursday and maybe we'll talk, but it's not, it's on Monday. And as soon as I make it through these sprinklers, oh, they're not aimed at me. We're good, we're good. Um, somewhat unpopular opinion about yoga on that Monday. Um, I don't think it's worth it, especially if it's not in front of the castle, which it doesn't appear to be. I don't think it's worth it. Especially if you've done dopey and you've just woken up four mornings in a row really early. Like, anyway, I don't know. I did the one at Disneyland. It was fantastic, but it was also on the Thursday. Uh, I just, I don't know. I can recommend you the races. I can't recommend you the yoga. And I'm sorry. I know that's a very unpopular opinion, but oh well. All right, back to the walk.
All right, that is workout two for the week. It was just shy of bullying lady pace. I did, I forgot how many miles, but actually, hold on, let me not lie to you. I'm not lying to you, it was just shy of bullying lady pace. I just forgot how many miles it was. Uh, average pace was 16.05. And for it being, let's see, 2.75 miles in 44 point so 44 minutes 20 seconds but I stopped my watch at 45 minutes 10 seconds I'm not sure why it's shorting me that but anyway um, currently 91 degrees 50% humidity I'm happy with that I am very happy with that uh, so just short of a balloon lady pace but that's okay I'll take it um, what's next Saturday long run if you're part of the Dare to Dopey group, you know that our theme for this Saturday is dress as your favorite theme park, which means through the magic of editing, you're about to see me dress as Animal Kingdom in just a moment. That's not true at all. I would never. I would never. <laughs> all right. Uh, but you will see what I'm dressed as right now. Welcome to week three, long run three three miles it's a whole lot of threes and this week's long run we are all dressing as our favorite park to run through or just in general and so I'm dressed as Cinderella because she has her own castle in Magic Kingdom and it's my favorite both to visit and to run through Now many of you know, Magic Kingdom has always been my favorite, but the reason it's my favorite to run through is because there is nothing like, nothing like running up Main Street. There's nothing like it. And those of you that are training to run up Main Street for the first time ever, oh man, I'm so excited for you. It's an experience that you will never, never be able to top. That much I can promise you. Now coming up to a very close second to Magic Kingdom is Epcot. And just like there's nothing like running up Main Street, there's also nothing like running through the World Showcase at the end of the marathon, mile 25, and you've got people literally <laughs> screaming their lungs out, cheering you on. Like, there's nothing quite like that. And once you reach that point in the marathon, you're pretty much running, literally, or walking on adrenaline. And having a stranger scream your name gives you that final boost that you need. Oh, I can't wait to get there. Three miles. Done. Done and dusted. Is that what all the cool kids say? Done and dusted. These are sitting crooked. Anyway. It's warm. But it's done. And... With that, we are done with week three of dopey training. Is that not wild to you? Like it's wild to me. Um, if you have a favorite park at Disney World or Disneyland, especially one that you like to run through, go ahead and drop that down in the comments below. And if you are not already, please join the Dare to Dopey Facebook group where I announce the theme for the long run every Monday morning. The link for that will be below as well. Thank you again for watching. Make sure that you like, comment, subscribe, tell your friends, and I'll see you in the next one for week four, where we get out of the miles that you can count on one hand. It's about time.